the men we come across some very interesting testimony you know and i think it's worth sharing you understand so we are go right tonight i mean i go i go obviously i'm not going to go through the entire thing but there's enough of it i will go through for you to say what and then encourage you to go and subscribe to the to this platform right here the link will be in the description of the video you understand as a matter of fact let me um tell you the name of this 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 um content creator right here let me tell you the name their name is testimonies with akeem smith testimonies with akeem smith so right there and then you know say it's right on the money this man that is on is coming to give his testimony and of course the host akeem smith all right so let's get into the content ladies and gentlemen remember to like share and subscribe you know back then and how you managed to escape from such <laughs> i'm excited you know to hear of your story and how you know at what age you started you know all the are you know some of the things that you done you know back then and how you managed to escape from such things but you know minister smith tell us about yourself please tell me guys if it's too fast all right who is minister spearmore lee smith amen um to best describe me, <laughs> I can tell you that I'm a, um, a he's a going person. Uh, my wife will tell you otherwise. <laughs> I'm disgusted, praise the Lord. But um, to be honest with you, I am one who is a easy going person. And, um, I find out that um, in order for us to be in our best, um, um, in, in, our, in our own interest, I mean, it is best to be real at mm -hmm. best as possible. And so that is one of the reasons why I'm here tonight, because I want people to understand that these things that we're dealing with is real. Yes. A lot of persons believe that demons was only back in the days of Jesus of Nazareth, and they are not real today. So when I came out to say, listen to me, demons are real. It's not to give the devil glory. I just want people to be mindful that these things are real, and these things are inside our church. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I believe so as well. But, yes. you know, as a Christian, I believe that we all have a favorite, you know, a favorite scripture. So I want you to tell us your favorite scripture, Minister Smith, and what does it mean to you? Uh, if I was to choose a scripture, I would have to choose Genesis chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse uh, 26. It said that he gave us the authority over everything upon the face of the earth. Now, this is so significant because mankind run earth, you know, not God. Mankind run earth. And we need to understand that because God cannot go back on his word. And that is why in Revelation 3, verse 20, it said, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. Why am I standing at the door and I'm knocking? It's because of the fact that I gave you the power from Genesis chapter 1, 26. And that is why he said, but this, this is so unique because the power which he gave us from Genesis 1, 26, he gave us the power even before he made us. Yes. Ah, oh, God Almighty. I feel the presence of the yes, Holy One. Yes. And so he gave us the power before he made us. And that is why he keep on saying, if my people only know the power which I have given unto them before we even created them. Yes, yes, Bless yes. God. So and, 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 knowledge is what caused the problem. So I guess that is a tree by the scripture I quote right here. So. <laughs> that's right. But, but you know, Minister, let yeah. me add to that because, you know, God says that greater work we shall do as his people. Yes. Right? And so because of that scripture that you mentioned, that God has given us the power. And so because he said that greater work we will do as his people, I strongly believe that scripture that you choose to be your favorite. Yeah. But minister, um, but let me first say to everyone who has joined thus far, thank you for joining and please to share this live broadcast to your friends, your family, and your neighbors so they can come and hear of this powerful, life-changing story. So minister, um, <laughs> at what age, at what age did you started this, um, you know, being an Uberman? Density is a tool to record your DJ set and master it after. Density connects to DJ. I'm going to. Yes, you guys heard that very clearly. At what age did he start to be, uh, started to be, um, act as a, well, become an Oberman? He's now a minister. Praise be to God. All right. Ask you a favor. I'm going to ask you to get your Bible because if I'm going to speak to you, then you need to have a Bible. So yes. I want you to. All right, fine. So the question now is: At what age? First thing we need to understand: um, the devil go after young children because mm -hmm. what we need to understand is that in the Jewish calendar, at the age of twelve, we saw Jesus. We noticed Jesus, the birth of Jesus, and then we didn't see anything about him until when he was twelve years old. So in the Jewish calendar, Satan know exactly what he's doing, you know, and that is why at the age of twelve to fourteen 
this is the time when Satan come at us. So at the age of 14, this was the time when Satan came at me. All right. I was born in Kingston. Mm -hmm. Amen. And what happened is that while I was in Kingston, praise the Lord, I my mom took me to Clarendon. So when I came back to Kingston 10 years later, I could not read. So this was what motivated me to go to church. And so when she invited me to church, amen, I went there. I thought church was church. I thought every church belongs to God. And then what I realized after a um, few years, I realized that um, there is three virgin of church up on the face of the earth. Now, how did I expose inside the church? Because I don't know when we go learn witchcraft, you know, which Jamaican call it, you know, in church, in front of the pastors, amen. And so that church at the time, it have a bishop and two pastors. Amen. So I in front of them, all right. What I want people to understand that the church is the problem and the church is a solution. Yeah. All right. And so we need to be extremely careful. Amen. Of the things that happen around us inside the church. So I end up working, start working over at the age of 14. And by the time I was 19, full blown Oberman, um, I was actually working on my um with someone because at the time I was an apprentice. Because you know, just pick up and start up on yourself. So I was working with one of Jamaica um best. He's now deceased. His name is Pastor. Uh, he was at the time he was called um Pastor Jack. But he when he um few years later he, he's better known as Bishop Jack. He was in the Lumsdell era. So this is how I started out. And I used to um he used to make gathering and all kind of stuff. All right. So this is how I started out inside the church. All right. Okay, okay, interesting, yes. interesting. Yes. Um, so let me ask you, Pastor, um, was it a revival church? You <laughs> It's so you it's so ironic that you should ask if it was a revival church. Because when I just started out, first thing we need to understand, Satan operates from two realms of the spirit. Mm -hmm. We need to understand that. He operates from two realms of the spirit. What do I mean by this? In the book of Daniel, if you go to Daniel chapter 10, verse 13, then we will understand that the prince of Persia, this is the fallen angel. Listen carefully. This is what we Jamaican call 60 realm. All right. The 60 realm believe that they are the clean one. All right. And you have the 61 rim. Now, the 61 rim is easily identified as they are the one who wear the uniform, what we call revivalists. All right. Mm -hmm. So, if you're asking if it's a revival church, yes, it's somewhat a revival background. But there's two levels of the revival church. The, um, at the time uh, when I started out, I was not wearing any uniform. So, it was identical to the church that we, we accept as an as a, as a authentic church. The only difference is that the spirit, so what makes a church a poker church is not the uniform or the pencil that they wear, no. it's the spirit that they operate in. That's what makes the church a poker church. All right? Now, if you should go to the Bible in the book of um, 1 Samuel chapter 15, the question therefore is, what is Obia? If we're going to talk about Obia man or anything, then we need to explain what is Obia. Now, I'm going to ask you to read it. Is Obia in the Bible? No. The word is not in the Bible. But let us go to second, um, first Samuel chapter 15, verse 22 and 23. All right? You said, repeat that again? First Samuel. Mm -hmm. 22. No, first Samuel 15, 20, um, 22, 23. All right, let me look that up first for you. Yes. Two, now, if we're going to talk, we need to find out first what is Obia. All right, let us go. All right, so what I have here is so First Samuel 15, you said, right? Yes, First Samuel 15, verse 22. All right, it says, does the Lord, but, but what well, it says, but Samuel replied, mm -hmm. does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as much as in obeying the Lord? Um, to obey is better than sacrifice. And no, no, this is the best gift you can give to God. Yes. By living in obedience. Now, let us look for the, 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 the because every side, every kind of a twist side. Let us. This is what you can do for God, where you can now live for Him. This is the best offering. But look on the flip side. Let us go to twenty three. All right. Let me see here. Twenty three. Yes. It says, for rebellion is like the sin of the div divination yes. and organized like the evil of idolatry. Because I want you to stop there. Now, what you need to understand, in the first, in the in the King James Version, it said, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. We Jamaican rename everything. Praise the Lord. We have a, we have a formula for everyone. And so we name re witchcraft and call it Obia. So it said, in the original version, it said, um, um, rebellion is as the spirit of witchcraft and when we refuse to take correction 
it now the sin of iniquity. All right. And so what happened is we Jamaican rename um witchcraft and call it obia. We rename iniquity and call it um obia. All right. So what is obia there for? Obia is actually being disobedient to God and then refusing to be corrected by him. So that is the spirit of obia. All right. So all right, interesting. Very interesting. Wow. I, this is my first time listening to this, so we're listening to this together. Say what now? Disobedience is obia? Let's listen to that again. The sin of iniquity. All right. And so what happened is we Jamaican rename um witchcraft and call it obia. We rename iniquity and call it um obia. All right. So what is obia there for? Obia is actually being disobedient to God and then refusing to be corrected by him. So that so obia is being disobedient to God and then refusing to be corrected by him. So when people say you obey yourself. Emotional damage. Hmm. Very interesting. That is the spirit of obey. All right. Okay. All right, interesting, interesting. Okay. All right, so you started out at age fourteen. Yes. Um, you know, at that time, you know, you, I, I, you know, you basically should be living with your parents still. Did your parents, parents rather, um, know that you were doing such an act? First thing I need to understand, it was my mom who invited me to her church. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think my mom, even until this day, my mom tell me say it is not a Obia church. Praise the Lord. Ah, <laughs> Amen. That, that, listen to me. First thing we need to understand. Um, in it, let, let us be um realistic. Embarrassing. <laughs> he needs some milk. I love your mom, but gotta call a thing a thing, you know? Gotta call a thing a thing. Lord have mercy. Something not right, my wisdom warriors. Something is not right. Hmm. Tell about them. All lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. It is our culture. And even the government, the present government of Jamaica said, you cannot deny us of our culture. Mike Henry, would have, I don't know if I can call him, but it's a public figure. Well, prime, the minister, Mike Henry, uh, would have in parliament said that nobody can stop him from embracing his African culture. So it's the, the, the very culture that we have is actually uh, what we Jamaican call witchcraft. Oh, yeah. All right. So it is against God. The very culture that we have is rebellious against God. All right. So, listen, Jamaica in itself is built on what we Jamaican call hobia. J let us go back. Each foundation in a Jamaica, when it is being dig, when it's being dig dug, all right, they are normally um, dedicated with a fold, um, we cut the fold neck and we sprinkle it around. That is actually an altar, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is an, actually an altar. And then when, we, um, oftentimes, they use the alcoholic spirit, which is the rum. They use it and they throw it in at the foundation. That in itself is also witchcraft. And one of the famous things as children when we were growing up, as soon as somebody takes something from us, we run go for Bible and key. So we need, oh we need to be God. careful what we're actually doing. All right. So at one all point, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. Very interesting. Princess, thank you so much. I see why you wanted me to react to this. Wow. We ought to be, um, we, we, you know, you're, you're, you're responsible for to say we, at one point, we practice phobia at one point. Okay. All right. So, so Minister Simit, you mentioned yes. something in regards to, um, you know, the public figure name that you called. You said, yes. um, he said he will um, embrace his culture. But my question for you, um, is it a case where we overdo it? Are overdo our culture in, in regards of adding things to our culture in regards of you know making it different man i knew i knew this ad would come up sometime i knew it uh the culture in itself mm -hmm. is what promote these things because in our african culture um we believe in the shedding of blood because the shedding of blood believe that it when you shed blood it actually purify the soul all right and so oftentimes the, you see, first thing we need to understand, all right? 
whenever somebody is you see whenever somebody is spiritually gifted this is the first thing that you need to understand whenever somebody is spiritually gifted and they are not using the name of jesus christ of nazareth they are going to be led astray all right what i've learned over the years is that without the name of jesus christ of nazareth you are going to end up being a spiritualist all right and so oftentimes we saw where people get um being led astray the reason for this is very simple all right the more you climb in the realm of the spirit or the more you grow in the realm of the spirit and you're not using the name of jesus christ of nazareth then this is where no one becomes the thief and the spirit now start to um, communicate with you from a different level so the spirit that should have been a blessing to you the reason why i said the spirit that should be a blessing to you is because if you go to john um james chapter 1 verse 17 it said all good gifts come from god mm -hmm. Because all good gifts come from God. Because Satan don't give good gifts, you know. So all good gifts come from God. But after a period of while, the gift can be corrupted. Amen? And so, they have a saying in Jamaica, the higher the monkey climb is the more he exposed. So whenever you're exposed to um to the spirit world, then you are now exposed to both good and evil. As in Genesis chapter 3, verse 22, he said, Behold, the mankind has now become as one of us. So what we need to understand, just as how God want to use us in the realm of the spirit, the spirit of darkness also want to use us. All right. So we have to be extremely careful where this is concerned. And that's how I end up in the realm, wrong realm of the spirit because of the fact that I was not taught how to use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No other person would be saying, but I did revival church. You know. But yeah. I need to understand that there is different, different level in the realms of the spirit because oh, we can talk. We are big man now. Yeah. Yeah. One of the eyes are not in the realm of the spirit right now, in the, the, the spiritual world right now, is actually the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. They are amazing when it comes to um into, into the spirit of witchcraft. The Catholic Church. They are amazing. Listen to me. And that is why, if you understand, where is the Catholic Church in the Bible? If you go to Exodus chapter 7, verse 11, it, it was the Catholic Church that was actually challenging God, you know. But in the in Exodus chapter 7, verse 11, they were called the white. Shots fired, shots fired. <clears throat> shots fired, ladies and gentlemen, shots fired. <clears throat> These men of Egypt. Amen. So the Bible is so sophisticated because the Bible, when it speaks to you, it speaks to you, it's symbols and oftentimes artifacts is used to convey the writer's message. And so Egypt represents the world. For instance, when we used to work Obia, we know we are going to Obia Manila, we say we're going to Egypt tomorrow. Oh, I see. <laughs> Amen. so egypt represents the world now this is so unique because the bible tells us this is what the bible tells us god sent back moses to egypt with the rod now the rod is was recognized as jesus christ of nazareth now the egyptian them said listen to me we don't want your jesus because we have our own rod amen and that is why when moses cast down his rod the bible said that the Egyptian also cast down their virgin of Rod. Amen. The only difference is that the Rod of Moses would have ate up or swallow up. Amen. In other words, take authority over the Egyptian um, Rod. Amen. So right there we saw, that was the first time we saw the first challenge where they, 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 they actually was challenging God for power. Mankind was actually challenging God for power. And that is what is happening even until this day. Now, they were called the wise men because these individuals believe that they are more smarter than god and that is the reason why god don't like competition because when you go to the demonic world the demonic world believes that they have and that is why a lot of people you know this, what they do they want to you read a man why they want to tell, us, to tell them about their future god don't like hear so one of the worst individual um, um mankind can do to god is to consult these people and let us be realistic every parish in jamaica right now have one uh, soon say Amen. You always see them, the Indian man, them come on TV yeah. and they advertise. Listen to me. This is another level of witchcraft. Right Amen. Up. Yo, me not tell no lie. That one is serious. This is a serious conversation, ladies and gentlemen. You know, when you, we can't tell say, Boko Pina. Hmm. Yo, princess, you set me up. Princess, set me up. Princess set up me on the entire platform. Princess, I never listen to the, I never have no time to listen to this before me react to it, you know. Hey, Blue, Princess set me up, you know. 
you see argument with the man I, I, I come with no we have got to take one deep looking at the mirror now, ladies and gentlemen no no serious because some people some people are engaging at this thing and don't realize what they actually are do and it don't please into god wow you see Ali, you see Ali, and this bring me back to the um this bring me back to the to the to the video the video i'm gonna do the other day i know no phone no watch a video there no. hey me tell you no say or listen to the other day i'm no. telling you say yo una do no self a disservice you see video them want to see no get the most views a damn video they want to feel listen to i want to feel like see i just talk me attack yo me do a video the other day bridging you understand with the audio where i speak specifically to where man just a say basically the man i say a lot of people a lot of christians end up in a hell in a the blows and skirt audio and the man i wonder why how is this possible how is it possible that these christians are in hell how right hey what up everyone it's and i believe i eat this coming at you from the beautiful nothing me was black streaked with red lightning that pierced the darkness but what truly made me tremble were the figures i saw in the flames men and women engulfed by i eat cm1 me find it the people in me are watching live this a video you link me at talk about here that video they me at talk about uno go listen that video there Put it on a playlist. Put it on a watch later list. And come back and listen where this man I say. And tell me if this audio no line up exactly with where man I talk about. Oh no. Let's continue. So we need to understand. All of us is guilty of this. Now, you may ask, what I what why are we in this mess? Amen. Why are we in this mess as a country? First thing you need to understand. Um, I'm a little bit older than you, so I will have to enlighten yeah, you. Yeah, go right in the 80s, when I was growing up, there was this individual named Capo. Mm -hmm. Now, Capo was uh, somebody who was famous in uh, the poker world, the Uber world. Mm -hmm. And Edward Siaga was one of them, the Prime Minister then, was one of them who was actually promoting revivalism in uh, Jamaica. And that is one of the reasons why we are in this mess, because many of the time, politicians would have dedicated the country wrongfully. So you're wondering, how oh, we have so much blood shedding in uh, Jamaica? Because of the fact that our leaders mm -hmm. caused the problem, because they consult these men. At one point, we were of the um, view that um, Capo, the late Capo, in fact, when he died, they wanted to, Siaga wanted to bury him in a hero circle. Believe me, because he had this man as a hero. Praise the Lord. Now, the reason why I say this is because I want you to understand our country reached a, a place now where climate in violence and crime. And we're wondering, how did we reach here? But we need to go back to basic, how it, we reached there. Because we were the one who dedicated the, the, um, the, the Jamaica over to the, the demonic world. Now, the next part is not blameless. <laughs> because in, in 2000, I think it was 2000 when Mama P was in power. Amen. There was this individual who, who prophesied that she could not lose the election. Now she went down to the Akompong town where she activated the, the, um, the, the Akompong spirit by blowing the Abeng. So the both party. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. David Costa, the Dean and CEO here at Robert Kennedy College in Zurich, Switzerland. And I'm here today to introduce the University of Salford online master programs. You can now complete your British master degree entirely online in just one year. We offer a number of specific... Um, innocent, where this is done. And we keep on asking, we're Jamaica, why are we in this mess? Amen. Okay, okay. okay. I may say just a lot, but you just um say um a name. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to kind of reset and elaborate on that for us. What yes. is that spirit? Now, what we need to understand, as a nation, the Bible tells us that a nation who forget God will always suffer. All right. So one of these principles of the realm of the spirit is very simple. It is found in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It said, but seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all its righteousness and everything will be added unto you. That is one. Principle number two. It said, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves 
and depend upon me to lead them and stop look spiritual guidance mm -hmm. then i will lead them and only then you will be safe and in good standing with god anything after that we are in problem and that is where we're at now and you see how it, how it is now today praise the lord um i must say that the church is the problem and i will instantly say that the church is also the solution and this have listen to me nothing changed mm -hmm. because when i went on down into the dark world it yes. wasn't because i wanted to go there it wasn't amen it was the church that introduced me to the dark world mm. so tell us tell us about the dark world how was it like being in the dark world first thing you need to understand you're on the constant battle in the dark world and first the second thing you need to understand is that whenever somebody is spiritually gifted all right satan know the bible back and front we need to understand that if he know the bible back and front him just don't do the bible so he used the bible against the church all right so what happened is that first thing we need to understand satan want to serve god in the spirit of sex and pride all right so satan want to serve god in the spirit of sex mankind want to serve god in the spirit of pride all right so what happened is that when i was in the dark world these are the two strongest spirit that was assigned to me amen and what happened is that in the dark world the spirit that was unleashed upon me was the spirit of um what we jamaican call homosexuality mm -hmm. the fact of the matter is that that's what satan want because the more you can live in sexual immorality then it would no means that you are no this you have no desecrated your body and yeah. so you are no exposed in spirituality what do i mean by this is very simple if you go to genesis chapter 6 1 and 2 you will understand everything genesis 1 6 and 2 genesis um 6 1 and 2 let me just go genesis genesis yeah. 6, 1 and 2 so in genesis 6 1 and 2 what is it all right so it says um and it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born upon them verse 2 he says and the sons of god saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took the, them wife wives of all which they choose now the reason why i point out this is very simple whenever you're spiritually gifted demons are going to take on the shape of female and they're going to take on the shape of male all right and they are going to try to infiltrate your your visions and dream in the night and so oftentimes the reason for this is very simple they are going to try to have sex with you in your visions and dream yes. in the hope of when they have sex with you in your vision and dream as i said before satan know the bible from left to from from cover to cover yes. so what he's using against us is biblical principle because whenever sex is what married people you know so mm -hmm. satan know exactly what he's doing sex is what married per, per, persons let me give you an example jesus said to the woman at the well of samaria all right give me water to drink the woman turned to him and said listen to me i don't have anything to give you water anyway they were having a conversation yes. jesus turned to the man and said go call your husband the woman said me no have no husband mm -hmm. jesus turned to her and said what you have said you have said correctly because you have four first he said go and call and when the woman said no he said you have five and then he turned and said you have four so right mm -hmm. this i look like jesus now nah, make no sense the bible contradicting but the bible is not contradicting the bible if you understand spiritual um principle Jesus said, you have five men having sex with. However, one of them is a married man. Because mm -hmm. one of them is already accounted for. That's what it means, you know. That's why he said, you have five men having sex with. Because sex is what married people in the realm of the spirit, you know. And that is why we hear about spirit husband and spirit wife. Now, yeah. why are you going there? It's because of the fact that constantly, there was a spirit that was assigned to me. And this spirit was a homosexual spirit that was assigned to me constantly. Mm -hmm. All right. We take on the form of a male and it take on the form of a female. And that is why oftentimes in a revival church. Now, if I had made the wrong decision, it would now mean that my voice wouldn't be so husky. But I would know like a girl. Listen yeah. carefully. Any revival. Emotional like damage. Emo Yo, can y'all hear me? Yo, bruh. I don't know why KD laughing, bruh. This is serious. This is serious. Listen, man. I gotta play that back. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. All right. Give me water to drink. The woman turned to him and said, listen to me. I don't have anything to give you water. Anyway, they were having a conversation. Yeah. Jesus, this is... um. Six, one, and two. 
Let me just go Genesis, Genesis yeah. 6, 1 and 2. So in Genesis 6, 1 and 2, what is it? It so so means that you are no, this you have no desecrated your body, and yeah. so you are no exposed in spirituality. What do I mean by this? It's very simple. If you go to Genesis chapter six, one and two, you will understand. Oh, there it wasn't. Amen. It was the church that introduced me to the dark world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell us, tell us about the dark world. How was it like being in the dark world? First thing you need to understand, you're on the constant battle in the dark world. Okay. And First, the second thing you need to understand is that whenever somebody is spiritually Salute, gifted, Katie. all right, so Satan know the Bible back and front. We need to understand that. If he, he know the Bible back and front, he just don't do the Bible. So he used the Bible against the church, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. So what happened is that first thing we need to understand, Satan wants to serve God in the spirit of sex and pride. All mm. right. So Satan wants to serve God in the spirit of sex. Mankind wants to serve God in the spirit of pride. Mm. All right. So what happened is that when I was in the dark world, these are the two strongest spirit that was assigned to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And what happened is that in the dark world, the spirit that was unleashed upon me was the spirit of um, what we Jamaican call homosexuality. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is that that's what Satan wants. Mm -hmm. Because the more you can live in sexual immorality, mm -hmm. then it would no means that you are no, this, you have no desecrated your body right. and so you are no exposed in spirituality. Right. What do I mean by this? It's very simple. If you go to Genesis chapter 6, 1 and 2, you will understand everything. Genesis 1, 6 and 2. Genesis um, 6, 1 and 2. Genesis 6, yeah. 1 and 2. Stop saying you stand with us, even though you want to spend 15 seconds to help my family. So in Genesis 6, 1 and 2, what is it? All right, so it says, um, And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born upon them. Verse 2, it says, and the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took the, them wife, wives of all which they chose. Now, the reason why I point out this is very simple. Whenever you're spiritually gifted, demons are going to take on the shape of female, and they're going to take on the shape of male, all right? Mm -hmm. And they are going to try to infiltrate your, your visions and dream in the night. And so oftentimes, the reason for this is very simple. They are going to try to have sex with you in your visions and dream. Yes. In the hope of when they have sex with you in your vision and dream, as I said before, Satan know the Bible from left to from from cover to cover. Mm -hmm. So what he's using against us is biblical principle mm -hmm. because whenever sex is what married people, you know. So mm -hmm. Satan know exactly what he's doing. Sex is what. Yo, that part. I I listen. I've always said that. I have always said that. I've always said that, yo. Once you lay down with a person, you are marrying that person. It's not the ceremony. You are already married to this person once you lay down with them. Especially on a spiritual sense. I have always had that principle in my mind. This is why I'm very, very picky. And I'm very, very choosy. And I'm not a fat. No disrespect to the thoughts out there. You feel what I'm saying? Because I just always thought, man, this is like this is like the most personal thing you could do. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, this really seems like something that you should do if you know with 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 with, with a, a marital partner, like it's it's sacred. You shouldn't just be running around jumping from this this person to that person. You're taking on too much spiritual energy and some of them is is not right. And one of the things I don't mess around with is married women. I have a friend and she's married and you know, she's very attractive. I met her online and listen, I man, I I I just look past her, bro. She is gorgeous. She's everything. All that. But I never, ever, 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 ever even went there. You feel what I'm saying? Because in my mind, I'm like, yo, I'm not. That's kind of a curse to be messing around with married women. 
But this is deeper. This is, oh, she's, she got a partner, you know, especially if you guys have a child. Oh, that's, 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 that's a life. That's lifetime right there. That's lifetime right there. And nobody can tell me that there isn't enough women in the world for every man to have his own wife. It is the reverse. There's, not, there's probably not enough women in the world for every woman to have a husband. There's less of us and more of them. Right? So that's why I, I even entertain, like, you know, mon, uh, polygamy and stuff like that, where one man has several wives and stuff. Like, I'm talking about in... Even in the Bible, you see it. Solomon, like, come on. Like, for real. There's many examples. So I know the ladies don't even want to go there because they ain't trying to hear that. And they live in the Western world. But trust me, in other cultures, it is very, very common. And I've been talking about this. Even the people that know me on on uh, in bus life, I've always talked about that. They know. <laughs> They're like, oh, Jimmy, you got like 20 baby mamas. Nope. <laughs> I don't have any children. and I don't have any baby mamas. And there's a reason for that. Because I just want to, you know... You know, uh, I want structure. I want. I want to have things in place. It's not yet in place, but God in time. God in time. All right. So that this this was in, this is very interesting. But married per per persons. Let me give you an example. Jesus said to the woman at the well of Samaria, "All right, give me water to drink." The woman turned to him and said, "Listen to me. I don't have anything to give you water." Anyway, they were having a conversation. Yes. Jesus turned to the woman and said, "Go and call your husband." The woman said, "Me not have no husband." Jesus. <laughs> and say what you have said you have said correctly because you have four first he said go and call and when the woman said have none he said you have five and then he turned and said you have four so right mm -hmm. they say I look like Jesus now nah, it makes no sense the Bible contradicting but the Bible is not contradicting the Bible if you understand spiritual um principle Jesus said you have five men having sex with however one of them is a married man because mm -hmm. one of them is already accounted for that's Ooh. what it means you know? that's why he said you have five men having sex with because sex is what married people in the realm of the spirit you know and that is why we hear about spirit husband and spirit wife now yeah. why are you going there it's because of the fact that constantly there was a spirit that was assigned to me and this spirit was a homosexual spirit that was assigned to me constantly mm -hmm. all right we take on the form of a male and it take on the form of a female and that is why often time in a revival church now if i had made the wrong decision it would now mean that my voice wouldn't be so husky but I would know like a girl. Listen yeah. carefully. <laughs> Any revival individual where you say sound like a girl. Because... That is funny, honey. <laughs> That's funny. Embarrassing. Oh he needs some milk. Because what happened is, even it don't have to be a revivalist. Any individual you see right now, that them voice, you understand, the homosexual spirit is up on them. Now, what I want you to understand is very simple. Satan is unique and he knows exactly what he's doing. Uh -huh. Now, if he can have you to have sex with in your visions and dreams, it would now mean that he owns you. Why? Mm. Because the wife have no authority over her body. Likewise, the husband have no authority over his body. Therefore, giving Satan now the permission to use us as wow. So Satan knows exactly what he's doing. So these are the wow. things that used to happen to me when I was in the wow. dark. And let me tell you something. The reason why I come out and talk against these things is because at one point, listen carefully, I thought that listen. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Patrick, yeah, go yeah. I, listen to, and that is one of the reasons why I come out and say, listen to me. These are the things that happen in the dark world. Sexual immorality and pride are the two strongest weapons that Satan uses against us. Wow. Pride in the sense that when you hear, like for instance, um, a lot of church pastor, I went to a lot of them. I won't even call them, but I went to a lot of them. And they will take the information, but they will not associate with me. Why? Because Jamaica have a stigma when it comes to Obia. All right. Yeah. Even though they are working, Obi, I know they will not accept you as that because most of our church today, whether you believe it yes or no, they belong to Satan. Damn. Yeah, that's I believe. And I'm not asking you, and I'm telling you, you know, most of our churches today. In fact, I will go as far as to saying any church that is not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is one of Satan camp. Yes. I'm Emotional damage. What the hell? Oh my God, no way. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. 
I did. Oh, See, man. I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. And you take his microphone. Just a minute. Just a minute. Take his microphone. Usher him out. Usher him out. Usher him out. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. I said women. Something not right, my wisdom warriors. Something is not right. Hmm. Tell about them. Man, something ain't right, boy. Hey, yo. What is going on, man? Is you telling me all these churches belong to Satan? Sheesh. Lord, Lord, take the wheel. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. All right? For 22 years, when I got total deliverance and I turned to God and said, all I need all this time was the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Yes. And the Lord said, yes. All you need was the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because at the age of 14, I was ordained as a revivalist prophet. And I was given a prophetic order. As in to oh. say, yes, I went to Watown at the age of 14. And that's where the gift was pronounced upon my life. So I was actually what you call a revivalist. I priest at the age of 14. So by the age of 19, full blown obey man reading of people barting and everything under the guidance of pastor jack and by the age of 20 demons was assigned to me so i could have gone my own business and i can't tell you without a shot of a doubt jamaican love obia mm. For, listen wow. carefully jamaican love obia straight across hey. the board they will not accept all right, it all right, Charmaine. Over, but believe yeah. they love obia jamaican mm. Mm. and you can see that mm. amen the house of parliament tell you this is my culture and you can't stop me from loving obia and one of the biggest table them work at Dunga Tivoli, when Edward Siaga died, they light up. You notice, every candle upon the table, did you know that the candle represent Jesus? Mm. Now, if there is only one Jesus, why did we have so much candle on the table? Okay. So every candle represent Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, uh, I, I am trying to fully that. So you have to say that the man in Dunga Tivoli? With 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 oh, well, my one wicked man still, Siaga. So, me no surprise. Damn, that is embarrassing. Embarrassing. <laughs> he needs some milk. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, wow. Much as possible because yes, the question right. I would like you to ask, Amen. I would like you to ask some questions. <laughs> and I realize that based upon your, yeah, yeah, I realize that you wouldn't know such things. Exactly. But I want people to understand. Time. Yes, I want what? people to understand that one of the reason why they use candle is because Jesus said that you are the light of the world. So them use the physical light. I use the candle, Amen. That is where you get the light of the world. Now, if we are the light of the world, and them said Jesus is the light of the world, why do we have so much candle and all different different candle? No so we need to understand. No this the reason why I go this way is because most of the Catholic I church, you think a revival is alone one candle? Mm. So we need to be careful, all right? That's right, that's right. Wow. So you, said, you, you just said that Jamaicans, we love them. You know, we love Obia. Yeah. I'm not telling you like. Obia. Let me ask you, right? Um, what are some of the, the tasks you were given back then to do or, you know, to work as an Obia man? All right, let me let me repeat again. Um, I was not working on my own at the time because you know, say where you go, you have to, have a, you have to be apprentice first. Yeah, yes, but, but, there but, was... but 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 minister, after you, because you said enough, after yes. you receive those type of demons and you actually you launch it on yourself. You okay, know? Yes. so what happened now? Listen carefully. What the reason why I, I let me tell you exactly what happened. All right, um, at the age of 20, when demons was now given unto me, I was supposed to do the final test. You don't want to know what is the final, final test. Oh, yes. Lord. Oh, I would like to share that with the final test. But I'm going to show you in the video. Go to Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. Verse. Romans chapter 1. No, so what ad supposed to come sometimes? What's up? Hi, Jira. We brought you here today to let you. Mm -hmm. Verse 1. 26 and 27. Six. I'm not going to lie. That interview I have me at edge of my seat. I don't know about it. Because of this, God gave them over the sh um, shameful lust. Yes. Even their women exchange uh, natural sex relations relations for mm. unnatural ones. Twenty seven. It says in the same way the men also abandoned natural Romans. relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed shameful acts, acts rather with other men 
and receive in themselves in due penalty of their error. Now, listen carefully. Let me explain what it mean, uh, meaning in the realms of the spirit. First thing it says... Hey, no diddy, man. No diddy. The woman. Mm -hmm. The woman... Refer, anytime you hear the Bible say the woman, it's referring to the church. So the church is supposed to be the spiritual guide of the nation. However, yeah. the church accepts these homosexual spirit. Notice nowadays, everybody start dressed up in a frock. Mm. I call it preaching robe. Mm. But mm -hmm. it, it, it's biblical. No, it is not biblical. Guilty! That nigga is guilty! Hey, you never tell a lie, my general. Uh, it is biblical, but is there is it right? No, it's not right. Alright. Mm -hmm. I will explain how the frock come in. Now what happened is that when an individual no falling frack clearly round becomes here. Satan bro. No frock round here. We na no no guy, we not upon that. You understand? Yeah, no sir. Pride. They are the one who release the spirit of homosexuality upon the nation. That's why the Bible said, listen, the, the, the woman referring to the church is not a physical woman. The woman accepting the spiritual um, um, deception. And then because the woman accept it now, they are the gatekeeper, you know, the church is the gatekeeper, you know. And yeah. because they allow the spirit to come in now, that is why we have people today struggling with the spirit of homosexuality. Why? Because the church was the one who embraced it. Mm. Now you see elders in the church wearing frock. Mm -hmm. We were taught that women should not wear pants. Then what the hell are you doing, frock? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We need to be, listen to me, we need to be realistic. Now, what you need to understand, if you go to Genesis chapter um, 3, verse 7, you will understand what happened. How did we start it out in our frock? Amen. Genesis chapter 3, verse 7. Yes. All right, let me see what it says. It says, then the eyes of both of them were opened and they realized that they were naked. Stop okay. right here. It said, and the eyes of them were now spiritually open. Mm -hmm. And they realized that the presence of God was no longer with them. That's what it means. All right? So mm. they realized now that the eyes, the, uh, their spiritual eyes. Mm. Not so it's not, it's, not a, it's not a physical nakedness. It's a spiritual nakedness. All right. Let me see what I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. Continue. Sure. Their consciousness was now there. It's ironic, you know, as soon as you see your new, you know, listen yeah. to me. I don't know about anybody else. As soon as me mess up, me know. Because me realize that the presence of God or the, we, um, the, the, the union we used to have with him is not there anymore. So the eyes of them now become spiritually awoken. And what they did? Right, Over so themselves. Says, so they shoot uh, fig leaves together. And when you covering. say two fig leaves, it means that they, they put together religion and religious belief. Right. And first it was called Hapron. The, 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 it was called apron then in those in those era it was called apron today we are used we've gone back to the old religion um, to the old church where we are now using these things and now calling it preaching garment so the reason why i'm talking like this is because i want people to understand any individual that you see wearing any of these things is actually satan right wow i can't be more clearer than that wow, wow. guilty wow. that nigga is guilty wow what the hell And you gotta tell him no. Yeah. You gotta tell him no. I, I did. I did. See, I, I saw my like women. Women, 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 women. I said women. Bruh, bruh, this is crazy. Listen, man, I, I've done. How, how long? How long is this? I'm not gonna do all of this. Y'all gotta go check them out. Yeah, this, this thir 39 minutes. Yeah, y'all y'all gotta go check out the rest of this. I gotta go. This is wild, bro. Man, this is very interesting, man. Um uh basically a obia man. Well, called to do God's work. The church turned him into an obia man, and now he's a pastor doing God's work. Um, you know. As an older man in the dark world, spirits was assigned to him, and it was homosexual spirits, and and, uh, and another one, and um, he was lucky to come out. Man, this story is wild. All right, I, I heard a lot of interesting things in there that I, you know, interjected on, you know, interjected on, and so forth. But I want to know what y'all think, man. Go and support. Uh, go and support the brother Akeem Smith testimonials with Akeem Smith that's the name of the platform y'all definitely need to go over there testimonies 
with Akeem Smith. He's the host of the platform. This video was done a year ago. Y'all go check it out yourselves, man. Wow. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think.